Well, I'm back again, so it must be Saturday morning. It is. Back into the loft. So, some days you do what you want to do, some days you do what you got to do, some days you do what you should do. Today, I should really be getting on with all the stuff in here, but I'm fed up with the dust and rubbish. I've got a carry load of rubbish down to the car yet to take the tip, and I'm fed up with materials being around me. So, I'd love to get on paint these walls so I can get the light fittings all in, make it look smart. I know if I do that I'll damage the paintwork probably at some point so I'd rather paint a little bit later. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do doors. I'm going to try fitting this door and I'm going to try making doors for these apertures. Get it looking a bit smart. That does two things for me. First of all it gets the door out of the way because it's stood up in the side in the way. Um, and it just makes it, it will give me that lift that I'm looking for before I start painting and stuff. So let's crack on. So now it's time to do the door. Like I said, I have to cut it down, both widthways and lengthways. Width, because I made the aperture too small. So I'm just using a bit of batten, clamped it on, and oh, the smoke! <laughs> I thought the blade had had it. It's properly had it. So while I had to order the new blade, and I have to go and fetch one in a minute, you see the blade there on top. I decided to make these little side doors with the cruddy old blade that I got. Bit of ply, some hinges, temporary latches, they won't stay there, I need some handles and latches and stuff. So just knock them up, hung them, and I'm gonna have some insulation on the back a little bit later. But it's just to close up those gaps, make the room look a little bit more like a room, which um, would be nice. You might not realise it, but that was tropical weather in Wales, so I thought, thought you'd end the eighth environmental endurance that I have in doing this loft. Putting the second door in, same process as the first, cut out a square, knock up some hinges, slap it on. Don't worry about the external hinges, these are going behind wardrobes and a dresser, I'm going to paint over it all. Oh look at that, the miracle of a sharp blade. Cut the door down, but disaster on the bottom. I had to chop off too much, and there's a wooden frame around the edge of the door, and then it's kind of got some packing type material inside. Um, so I had to make good with the bit I chopped off, take the face sheets off, which is what I'm doing now, glue it back in with a bit of Gorilla Glue. Oh, we all love a bit of Gorilla Glue. I used my spirit levels as straight edges for clamps to keep it all going, and that sat there overnight. So you'll see in a second, once I've done that, a bit of tidying up. Let's get rid of all the crud that's necessary. But first, let's put the door handle in. You put a recess in to put the bolt in. You can see me there just measuring it up. 90 degrees, make it all good. Lots of fagging about. Move all the rubbish out. Chisel, chisel, chisel. Bit brutal if I'm honest. But before we know it, I have a door handle. Uh, and then, a bit of measuring up, and we'll fit this door. Right, those BDI's of you will notice that the hinges were on the wrong side. I got them wrong, so I refitted them. I use this little hand router, which is really useful every once in a while. Because you can control it with one hand, it's not too scary. So I'll get the hinges on the door, get them on the side, put the latch in, which took forever. Took forever, but it worked out all right. So, very happy I am. I now have a door to the bathroom, and I can hide stuff, pretend nothing's inside there. Right, it's not the truth. Hey, we have a door. And it works. Hey, I'll be straight around that. You know, I said I needed a lift. This now feels like a room because I the shit hole that's in here. Okay, look, it's gone. It's gone. Woo! <laughs> Right, so I fit the door. What next? I 
should really be getting on with the bathroom. And that means going back into that cave. And you can see all the stuff piled up everywhere. Some of this has got to go somewhere else in the house, some of it's got to go in the attic spaces. Some of it, like an aircon unit, has got to be hung up. So I could get the aircon unit hung and then that just gets it out of the way. It's a big white thing. And get the stuff that needs to go into the loft cavities parked out of the way. Parked out of the way for now. That'll free up a lot of space and then I'm possible that I can go and do some painting because it'd be nice to finish a room rather than working everything at the same time so if I can finish a room Bob's your uncle so I think now I've got this door on and I can ignore that space for now why don't we get this space towards being finished tidy up and paint it. Guess what I'm doing today? Two coats in there, out here. Then I get the lights up, get the wallpaper on, and we're good. Let's go. Fronts on, trim cleaned up, get the light fittings up, get the aircon units hung up. That's all good because all that stuff takes up space so the place starts to look tidier. I've now got a load of materials I know I'm not going to use. I'll have to drag those downstairs and get them out of the way as well. Fingers crossed I don't damage the beautiful paintwork. So, not an exciting weekend. Fitting the door, painting, but suddenly the place looks like a room. <laughs> 